The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. There's a rabbi who was traveling. Um, I don't know where he was going from one city to another city in America. He had a wedding of a Talmud and he was driving. It was like he finished the wedding. It was like two o'clock in the morning. He was coming back. He was very, very tired. He was scared that he's going to, you know, uh, fall asleep at the wheel. So he was looking for a place that would sell coffee. And this way he'll be able to get a coffee and he'll refresh himself and he'll be able to uh, continue his journey wherever he was going, to Monty, to Brooklyn, whatever it was. And uh, he's driving and driving and driving, nothing, nothing, nothing. All of a sudden he sees like a, a big square sign with neon lights saying, fresh coffee, stop here. So he says, this is Gavaldic. So he gets off and uh, he gets in the store. It's like one of these little stores in the middle of nowhere. And uh, there's no one there. And he calls, hello, anybody there? So uh, he, he walks... He walks, uh, he waits at the waits, waits for someone on the counter to greet him. And out comes this guy, mummish, dressed like a, from a Harley Davidson movie with like earrings on all over the place and tattoos oh, okay. and, and leather jacket and a, a whole situation. So he's a rabbi and he's ties, he's just, he doesn't, he's not thinking, whatever. And, um, he says, so it's an Israeli. Little does he know in the middle of who knows where in America. So there's an Israeli guy working behind the counter. So he's amazed to find him. And um, the, the, the guy says to him, he sees another Jew. So the guy behind the counter says, Shalom Aleichem. So this rabbi is like, wow, getting Shalom Aleichem from the guy behind the counter. That's amazing. I didn't think this guy was even Jewish. Never mind saying Shalom Aleichem. So he says, and by the way, you don't say Aleichem when it's two people, right? Because Aleichem is plural. And the, the guy's like, what? What are you talking about? He's like, the rabbi starts to explain to me. He has no idea why he's explaining this to him to this guy behind the counter, but he's, you know, he's tired, whatever. He says, no, every person has angels, right? Every person walks around with malachim around him. So therefore, when you, when you, when you have, when you, that's why you say aleichem, even when there's one person, because aleichem is plural. This guy's like, angels, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Rabbi, what have you come in here? Coffee? Take your coffee and get out of it. Don't give me all your angels and all these things. Anyway, fine. End of simple story. Until about three months later, he was on the same drive, this rabbi, from the same town to his town, wherever it was. And he's driving on the same highway and he's thinking, I'm exhausted. Let's go find that place. Where was it again? I don't remember exactly which it was. Till he sees the neon lights again and he's so excited. Unbelievable. He goes in there and the same guy comes out. And when the guy sees him, he says, Rabbi, you've ruined my life. He says, huh? You've ruined my life. What did I do wrong properly? I didn't do anything whatsoever. He says, I haven't been able to eat anything wrong, anything wrong kosher since you came in. He's like, I didn't do anything wrong. He's like, Rabbi, when you left the store three months ago, whatever it was, I was about to bat, bite into a ham and cheese sandwich. And as I did that, I started to think about what you just told me a minute ago. You're like, there's malachim that walk around with me. And I'm like a bit like self-conscious. How can I eat a cheese sandwich with meat if I know it's wrong and there's malachim around me? I can't do it. Since then, I've not been able to put anything straight from my hand. Rabbi, you've ruined my life. And the rabbi got his coffee and left. But it just shows us the power of our words and the power when we say something, we have no idea how it can affect someone. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.